Yo, what's good? Welcome to another episode of Fun With Dumb, broadcasting live from Seoul, Korea. I've been out here for the last 10 days, mm. mingling, and I haven't been out here for two and a half to three years. Missed a lot of my friends. I didn't want to do the two-week quarantine in the hotel because I am not a prisoner. I am a free soul. <laughs> and I am here with two of my favorite Kill Pull friends and rappers and musicians, Jay Park Yay. and PH1. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? No, it's like my eighth time on this bitch. Like, uh, you this are, is, uh, you might be <laughs> the uh, besides Rec. Yeah, you are the. Um, well, I mean, Rec lives in LA. Like, yeah, that's yeah, true. So you're the most you're the most frequent guest of all time on Fun <laughs> with Them. That's like doesn't live in the country. Yeah, it doesn't live in the country. You've actually like kind of co-hosted as well at times you yeah. know we've yeah. had like korean guests and you've like translated oh yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah for who oh, groovy, groovy room, room. Groovy oh. room. yeah groovy room. room yeah and you were just translating you weren't even the guest on that one <laughs> Facts. You were just... Facts. Facts. like that girl next to bong joon ho like yeah Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's a translator. translator. <laughs> he must have translated for a lot of people in general. Of course, well, you know, I, I have uh, traumatic experiences for translating, so it's no more translating for me. <laughs> Why? What happened? Have you had, have you had some incident? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the zombie, the zombie incident. Mm. Yes. Oh so, yeah, that's true. Have you been on here before? Yeah, yeah, yeah we did an episode. What, what, what was it with me? No, was it? It was just mm -hmm. by myself. Oh, when you were in LA? LA? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. He okay. actually hit me up. He was like, "Yeah, I listened yeah. to the pod. I want to be on the pod." I was yeah, like, "Okay, sure. cool." Yeah. A lot of great people, like guests, have been on the pod. <laughs> a lot like, of great people. No, a lot of great people <laughs> listen to this pod. No, like a lot of, like you know, so, some of the, you know, the the guests that I see on on Fun with Dumb is like, oh damn, like yeah, you know, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, like yeah. they're your homies and shit, but it's like. Like Anderson Pack, yeah, like Aquafina. Apparently, the Tetongyeon listens to the pod too. Oh, facts. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Moon Jae-in is a big fan. <laughs> not, it's not Moon Jae-in no more. I mean, the ex-president. Yeah. yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, but thank you guys for coming on the show. No, for sure. Yeah. Uh, this is thank you. Oh, Collab Asia Korea. Shout out. This is their podcast studio. Letting me. This is like really cool that they let me use it. I didn't know I had access to this, and apparently, like. I, like I'm a client of this place too. <laughs> oh, uh, because of, of transparent, yeah. Oh. But anytime I come to Korea now, I'm gonna do the pods here. I'm gonna do a bunch of episodes next time. But this is last minute. Um, thank you guys for coming. A lot has changed in two and a half years that oh, I haven't sure. seen you guys um, in everybody's lives. But also some of the business dealings of what you do. Yeah. Uh, one big thing is this soju. One soju. Yes. Yes. Uh, that comes in. A, does it come in a box like this? Like uh, what? Or just it, it does, it does. It comes in a box when we uh, ship it to people. Ship it, but you know, this is the bottle. That's the bottle, and inside is the alcohol. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain yes, how bottles and soju. Exactly. But this is you can buy this right now at, at some of the stores out here. No, or what? no, no. So um, basically, we are only selling on our online store, onesoju.co.kr. Yeah. Or is it onesoju.com? I don't even know. But anyways, so you could only buy it um, on our online store, and then. Since we can only make like 60,000 bottles a batch, it like sells out quick. Got you. Because we only sell like a couple thousand bottles a day. But and the so, goal is to make it, put it in like every store. So no, so basically we're, we're um, distributing it through, we found a way to mass produce it basically. Um, it's a different version than this. It's called One Soju Spirit. Mm. This is just One Soju. And then, um, so we're distributing it through GS25. Convenience store. Convenience wow. store, yeah. That's tight. So that's tight. You're so, trying to be a liquor liquor mogul now. Uh, that sounds weird. Uh, <laughs> a liquor mogul. Well, there's okay. So let's you talk, lick, let, no, let's <laughs> a liquor liquor uh, mogul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the rappers that have alcohols, no, right? For sure. We got Diddy. Diddy got has Ciroc. the biggest one probably. Ciroc, Ciroc, right? Ciroc, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have Jay Z. J what does Jay Z have? He has a uh, Duce and uh, and, and, yeah, and uh, no no not Moet. No, um, no. Armand D. Armand so Ace of Spades, but then he he sold it to Moet and I think Henny. Yeah, like recently. Yep, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Fifty Cent has uh, I something f in vodka. Yeah, yeah. Actually, even Post Malone and G Easy I think have one too. Bruno Mars really? has like a, a yeah. Bruno a, Mars has Silver Ray. Yeah, Anderson's part of that yeah. partnership too. That's a rum. Yeah, for sure. Oh, rum. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Rapper, yeah. but Kevin Hart recently started a tequila. Yep. Oh, and um, Jamie Foxx too has one. Kendall, Hart, uh, Kendall Jenner raps, no? Oh, so she has. <laughs> or does she not rap? Eight one eight. Yeah. Kill out whatever. Yeah. The biggest, I think, George Clooney. Casamigos. That Casamigos. shit's fire though. He sold that shit for like, uh, fucking, I forget. Uh, I think a billion dollars. Really? Yeah. So Casamigos, Dang. him and his friend 
started this uh, thing, and then within three years, the yeah. tequila Damn. brand like sold Casamigos for like a billion dollars. Wow! After he sold it, he had a dinner with like uh, George Clooney had a dinner with like twelve of his closest friends, yeah, and gave them each a million dollars in cash. Wow! At, at the dinner. Damn! I wish I grew up with so George Clooney. Fuck! You, after you sell it, yeah, invite me to dinner. Right? <laughs> Dang! Um, There's gonna be one empty seat. In the <laughs> I'm gonna be like Squid Games for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Um, but one soju. What's the name behind? What's the thing about one? I mean, um, obviously that's money. You no, know, for sure. It's like the you know it it, it means a array of things in both Korean and English. It whereas like you know. Let's say when you pronounce it one, it's like, you know, the number one obviously is, is going to be good. And then one, you know, Korean currency. And then one is also means circle in Korean. Yeah. And then one also means like victorious. Yeah. Oh, and then I also see. it's like, it's something that kind of, um, I guess, anywhere in the globe, if you're just like, they know what one is. Yeah, you know, yeah. So. It's easy to say too. Yeah, yeah. it's very easy. It's, it's, you know, it can transcend languages. So that's yeah. why I was like, all right, cool. One. And then obviously, you know, it's distilled traditionally 100% rice, just yeast, alcohol, water. Um, and then we have like, you know, certain elements of uh, traditional Korean heritage there with the flag and with, you know. Yeah, that's cool. The design is cool. Yeah. Have yeah, you, yeah. Do, you, do you drink pH? Yeah. Do, yeah. You, do you like soju? Yeah, I love soju. Do and you like this, this soju? It's like premium soju. It's not like, it's not really like soju that, that you normally think of. It like tastes different. Bottles. I tried it yesterday. Yeah, it's no, for like, sure. Yeah. I mean, so basically, you know, when I when I got signed to rock and then when I put out this, the soju song with 2 Chains, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, That's when I was like going around and then... Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, gone. Yeah, I mean, that's when I was going around and all the DJs, like, you know, I was giving it out to all the, like, the people the uh, at the editors at the publications and they're like, oh, is this your soju? Yeah. And I'm like, because, you know, like like we said earlier, like everybody and their mom has a, right. a alcohol. So I was like, no, it's not mine. They're like, oh, you should start one. Mm. I was like, oh, shit, should I? Yeah. And that's where, like, the idea came and then that's when I started to meet up with partners and, and then that's when I learned a lot about soju as well and, like, the, you know, yeah. history of soju and Korea. So I was like, oh, the stuff we've been drinking is like, that's not actual soju. It's like when, you know, um, there was not a, enough when rice was really expensive back back when back when yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it was super poor they banned um, they banned the country from making soju with rice so they, right. that, so they had to find an alternative yeah and so that's you know that's when it, like that became like the soju and everybody got used to that I just learned that too actually because yeah. the girl Esther yesterday she yeah. started dropping all the knowledge on no, soju for sure. so when she tried it she actually was like. This is how soju is supposed, supposed to, to taste. Exactly, yeah, right. exactly. And so I, you know, I learned a lot as well. And I'm like, I'm just like, oh shit! Like, you know, everybody thinks of soju as like this, like cheap alcohol that you just. But it's kind of that's for us. It's kind of like fucked up that like a cheap alcohol that like is not very well made it represents right. Korean people. You right, know, so right, I, right, I just right, want right. I'm like, oh shit! Like, you know, this is very well made, premium, um, good liquor, like distilled liquor. It's like, oh shit! Okay, like, why don't we try to. Right. Let people know that there's something like this as well instead of yeah. the green bottles is fine. I still love, you know, yeah. I still love to drink the green bottles, but, you know, it's like a different way to drink it, to enjoy the, what is it, the scent, yeah. the taste, everything like and that. And is there, so, is there like a reason you didn't go with the green bottle in general? Yeah. I mean, so. Because like every brand. Okay. So like, I don't know the history of the green bottle thing, yeah. but like every brand uses the green bottle, right? Pretty yeah. much like. No, no, no. So that that's, so. Uh, that's called hisok shik soju. Like it's like diluted. It's yeah. diluted with like different things. Right. You know? So it's, they it's, they use the green bottle to kind of clarify that's what that is I, or what. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah I, I from there's a lot of different rumors. Oh damn, he's here already. Yeah, yeah. Come join in. Join in. And uh, we have a special guest. Good to go, Koala. Koala. <laughs> Bobblehead music. Uh, we got Koala hey, representing LA. We're just gonna introduce real quick. Koala is a. Um, Another Kyopo from Los Angeles, right? Who yes. moved out here to Korea and he's now joining us. We can angle it. It's Wait, casual. did you two know each other back back in LA or no? Not in LA, but nah. uh, we have a lot of mutual friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, 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 so. yeah. I heard of him and then when I saw him over here, I was just kind of like, you know what I mean? I up some of my friends names yeah 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 we know uh we're gonna say all the people he knows i know yeah. um yeah they're, they're all clearly from la from their attire no for sure uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the nah, shorts, the shorts with the long sizes. yeah the LA for like 11 years old but yeah, yeah just uh, a lot of friends i grew up with yeah 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 okay cool um but yeah thanks for joining us no for uh, sure we thanks had a fourth me. yeah we had a fourth slot and yeah. this is even funner now but we're just yeah. talking about the soju no for sure i mean yeah and then so i i, I don't I, 
I looked it up and I heard, but I forgot to be honest why it's green. But all the traditional distilled sojus, yeah. they don't have, they're not in green bottles. They all have different, like mm. Pio is not in a green bottle. Yeah, that's true. Andong soju is not yeah. in a green bottle. Toki soju here, which is, you know, not in a green bottle. So it's like, all, it's all different. They all have their different labels and different bottle designs. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, would you like to see this soju just globally, people enjoying no, this of liquor? Course, of course. Yeah, like, you know, because there's Japanese whiskey in like lounges and bars in, in the States, right? Yeah. True. So how come there's no soju there? Right. You know, it's like, because people are like, oh, you, you can only have it at pochas and like Korean barbecue restaurants and shit like that, right? So yeah. that's why it's like, you know, try to kind of change people's perception of Korean alcohol, like soju. Yeah, yeah. Like make it more it. premium. Right. Yeah, right. I mean, because it's it's well-made. You know, yeah. the, that the, is the true. way there that is it's no made like is, a, you know. You know, like when you go to like these nice bars, it's always just like, there's no Korean yeah. brand, like, yeah. you know. And not I mean, even, just, whiskey, not even just premium. Um, like you said, I think this is how Soju was supposed to taste. Exactly. Mm. It was like, like we got away from the actual origin right, right, of right. it. No, for sure. And it's like the idea of premium is like, it's really just based around the branding and marketing of things. Like tequila wasn't necessarily a premium thing. No. And then now it is, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like Cosmigo's expensive, bro. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also it's, it's also the way they, they, dis, they distill it. Like, right. you know, and, and oh, also, a process too, yeah, yeah, the process, like wh whether they fermented in like oak wood barrels or we, we, we fermented in a traditional clay pot, like mm. Korean clay pot. And so that's why like the clay pots have to be handmade. Mm. And then, so the guy that makes it can only make two or three a, a month. So that's why we wow. can only make 60,000 a batch, a batch. So it's like, yeah, it, the process is, is different. That must have been pretty fun to, to experience the, the whole no, process of it, that it, shit. It's just fun to like find out about soju it, like gets me like more into it and like more proud about like yeah. talking about it and shit and yeah. then now i'm like since it's doing well so we use um uh what is it rice that's made from wonju yeah this city called wonju right and then so like since it's doing so well like the wonju government officials like they hit us up and they're oh, like wow. yo like yeah so you're helping the economy in a way exactly yeah. and so like and then if we you know um export it out like we'll help, we'll help, we're helping the country. That's cool. So I'm just like, now I feel like all this, like, wait a minute. I'm like, oh damn, like, yeah, are they, yeah. are they trying to, gonna get me or what's gonna <laughs> happen? Like getting all not, paranoid You better not shit. fuck up now, no, bro. I'm getting paranoid and shit. <laughs> if your business fails, you're, you're fucking the country, all right? No, uh, no. Nah. I'm, I'm glad that like, I'm thankful that like, you know, a lot of people rock with it. Like all the homies, they enjoy it. Like, yeah. you know, so. Well, I'm I guess thankful. I gotta fucking drink one soju now, shit. <laughs> uh, but shout, shout out to Jay because I feel like, oh, to make it, to mass produce it, he could have done a lot of short, he could have taken a lot of shortcuts. Right. You know, instead of doing the uh, handmade pot, clay, whatever, clay pot, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, He could have easily just like chosen other ways to just mass produce it and just make more yeah. money or whatever. But he, I'm pretty sure he wanted to make every step uh, as authentic as possible. So yeah. They all were. Sure. I heard all the workers were humbugs too, and they. <laughs> is that true? Is that <laughs> facts? <laughs> really <laughs> keep it. Big facts. Yeah, big yeah, facts. Yeah, maybe. Uh, all kimchi squatting. Yeah. <laughs> he brought up like he has to. He brought up one time that you actually has have to go work at the farm or something. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, like yeah, yeah. To, uh, I mean, so put in some work. Yeah, yeah I mean, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of regulations. There's a lot of you know. So, um, I guess. There's a lot of laws and stuff like that behind it so yeah. that it took a really long time to get all the licensing, the clearing, mm. like it, it took like three, four years. So this was like it, the development of this. Right. It wasn't just like, you know, I put my name on it and let's go. It's like we started from scratch. Yeah. And so I think people, they appreciate like the authenticity of it. And it's like, yeah. oh, it's not just, you know, a money play. For, for anything, is it's like that. You know, if you're like, for a lot of big artists, when you're taking on a new project, a lot of times they like to attach their name to something that's pre-made. And when you do that, you can see the quality doesn't turn out proper. No, for sure. I'm learning that in the process of right now, like working on a, that movie with like Anderson, right? Yeah. That's an example. Like there's a lot of musicians and stuff that get thrown ideas for movies and they just kind of throw, attach their name to it. And it right. just never turns out right or the quality's bad. But like, you know, he's been involved so like every part no, of the sure. way, you know, sure. every, in the room, writing the script and things I mean, like that. Because you guys are artists though, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You, I guys mean, are, you guys are not, the same with me. It's like, I'm not, I'm not a businessman. You guys are not, obviously like we do business, but yeah. we're not businessmen. Like, right. you know, you, you guys are artists, I'm an artist. So it's like, we like to, create our art and make it into a business. Yeah. So and that's the, that's the interesting thing that like a lot of the creatives 
Yeah, they get removed from it though. You yeah. know, when you get a big name, you just kind of want to attach your name to things, yeah. but you're not going to get the the proper product like that. No, right? for sure. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? You have to beat through it every minute of the way. Um, well, PH, what you been up to, bro? I've been just working on my album. Album? Yeah, yeah. Uh, supposed to come out in like a few months. So mm. it's been a crunch, crunch time for me. So I've been just making music. You still a homebody? <laughs> not really. I go out because yeah. after um, the restrictions, uh, they removed yeah. the restrictions for COVID. It's like everybody's yeah. trying to start walling out now. Yeah. yeah, you've been a, you've been a homebody before being a homebody was a thing, bro. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. a, the whole before world became hit. a homebody. Yeah, before it was hip. So. You knew something. <laughs> you knew it was coming, I didn't knew, you? I knew. <laughs> he got a call from the president. He's like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> something's up, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like when there was that, uh, you know, the regulations, like you kind of want to like go out more though, like yeah, for some reason, like yeah. weirdly, like yeah. you, you know, it's when curfews at ten. You just still want to like go out, like you know. Yeah. Well, it's you know, yeah, like it, it's the it's like the reverse psychology. Yeah, reverse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, but thank God we didn't, and yeah, yeah. thank God now that the curfews yeah, lifted, over, yeah, yeah, now we can go out. Yeah. yeah, it's back to normal now. Facts. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you feel like? we got like rejuvenated in a sense like we took go like now when we go out it, it takes us back to the days where we really went out you know like when we we're younger kind of going oh, out even like, it's, even, more, it's even like more like bro like it's all more, the festivals right now yeah, crazy. there's so many Wild. freaking festivals and they're like right. all sold out yeah, yeah. yeah people oh, are man. going ham there like korea, korea. yeah yeah dude because like, recent water bomb water bomb <laughs> that, oof, wow yeah. that was crazy yeah you were there yeah water bomb is like a yeah, completely we non-covid <laughs> safe <laughs> event you know exactly. it's like water splashing everywhere yeah, yeah, liquids yeah, yeah. they're like hey take this covid from the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they man. went completely the opposite <laughs> like we're gonna go to squirt everybody yeah Facts. it's lit um, but you've been working on a new album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty much it. The yeah. main focus, huh? That's the main focus. Yeah, main focus, definitely. You're not going on Show Me the Money 17. <laughs> 17. No, yeah, I'll be like 50 by then. <laughs> that's show. The, uh, show Me the Money 11 right now, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah are you yeah. going on, Koala? <sighs> Man, I mean, I'm still like kind of. I mean, I, it's like right now, right? Like I just, I think <laughs> they, they just. No, you have today. to. Uh, you just missed it, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, but it's still the. Uh, but you know, I mean, I don't know. It's 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 what is it? It's the audition, like prelims. It's the prelims. It's the prelims right now, where you yeah. gotta kind of just like submit. Yeah. Are you good to go? Are you good to go? I'm not good to go. <laughs> Yo, oh, how are the, how are the first of all that? So Koala just put out a single, "Good to Go," featuring Jay Park. Uh, um, and it's just so fun to say good to go every time I see you now. Like, you're good to go. Uh, you, you've you been using that word for, like, everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like uh, it, it's, like, a common word, but it's, like, people use it, right? But it just, it never, like, I don't think anybody used it in, like, a, like a, a, rap like a song. song. Yeah, like, rap you know? song. Like, yeah. a hip-hop. Yeah. Like, in a, in like, a, like, a title. In a like, cool way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like in, like, but a... It, uh, it's a very uh, frequently used word. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm just like, yo, like, like... We always good to go, like you know, like I'm I mean, good to go, like good to go. We always ready, like we out here, like you know. So it's like, you know, I just kept using that it. Girl's good to go, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I keep using that word, and I'm just kind of like, you know, I like kind of try to make it like into like a little thing, you know. It's yeah, kind of yeah, clever sure. though, because good to go sounds like good to go. But like people, yeah, yeah. So some people, when I like talk to oh, them, oh, is like, that what what you were trying to do yeah, with that's that? That's the wordplay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, because yeah, in yeah. Korean, the Korean titles are good to go. So that means like like koge good to go, like bobble your head. Oh, but it kind of okay. sounds similar to good to go. And bobblehead music is the name of your crew and yeah, production yeah, right. crew, right? A label. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So bobblehead music's the the production crew that he's a part of with Cuz D, John John, John, John J Row, J Cuz D. And then yeah. they, you know, they work with Jesse a yeah. lot and, and yeah, yeah. other artists. And then he's doing his solo, like they all have their solo shit too, and he's yeah, doing yeah. his solo shit. That's what's up. And then yeah. Yeah, for those uh, that aren't familiar, they produce a lot of Jesse's beats and stuff, right? Like yeah, all yeah. the bangers you guys hear on TikTok, <laughs> well, like constantly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just uh, just starting from you know, just starting from doing that now, you know, ever since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then um, those are those are all just, hits. Though. Yeah, yeah, those are bangers. Tracks, you know. Uh, hey, good to go. Good. good to go. Is getting up there in numbers though. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm kind of like I was a uh, more yeah, of course. There's some kick or some shit right now. Oh, uh, right? I think it's right now is like 194. That, that, then you can just say 200k, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna be all like don't act like you don't know like the exact specific number. I wanted like maybe in an hour. Uh, no, just no but that's up. that's big numbers, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yo, no, I was like, kind of surprised how like fast it's moving because bro, he jumped up like 10k uh, IG followers in like a week. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's you're good to go, crazy. bro. Yeah, yeah like he's I, good to go. You're going. Uh, he's all, he's good to go off a of rocket. Yeah, he's just, going. Yeah, you're yeah, already yeah. going pretty yeah, much. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to do whatever I can. Just like you know, just put it out there. Like 
you know, it's just, uh, it's pretty crazy, man. It's yeah. fast. Uh, no, it's, 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 it's good to see though. Like, cause you know, I, I, I've known him for like a couple of years and then, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I see him doing stuff with production, but I'm just like, okay, like, you know, if you're going to do your solo rap shit, then like really do it, you know? Yeah, and so, yeah. yeah, like, you know, he, he came with me with the song and then, you know, we came up with an idea and then he's like, oh, I was like, I was like, I was like, hey, Bobblehead, like, Good, good to yeah, get, and then he, he was like, he was like, good to go. I was like, oh, that's good. Okay. So, you know, that's so that's the things. process. Yeah, I was like, so I'm just like, yo, let's just uh, use both of that as a title, yeah, yeah. like you know, well, one that, for English and just Korean title, like good to go. Well, know? that's good. That's good. I mean, you yeah. came with the joint and you hopped on, but I gotta ask you, Jay, because you've done a lot of collaborations. Like yeah. you're, you're, you're like, like seven hundred and sixty four like to be the precise. You're, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a feature goat and out here for sure. Um, even I've sent him songs where he's returned it in a, it's like six hours. Oh yeah, the same like, thing as me. He returned like in one day. Yeah, yeah, he's a beast. And I gotta ask you, like, so and but you gotta have a rapport with you, right? Like, yeah. you, you, someone has to. be- No, of course, of course. But like, like standard of who I do features for, right? right. Is yeah. that what you're saying? But I'm saying if you have a homie, yeah, and he's a musician, yeah, like there's has there been shit you're just like. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, oh, of course. There's of course. This, like a complete trash joint. Like, or like what, I, how do you even I, I, approach I mean, that? Well, you know, there's some that's been trash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> No, there's shit that's been trying, or there's shit that's just kind of like it's not my cup of tea. I'm like, bro, yeah. like I wouldn't sound good on this. I don't want to put the effort into like, right? Because this feature is not really gonna do much for me. So, but you know, like shit where it's like, oh, like you know, I could. I could hop on this easy, you know, and it, it'll make sense. Yeah. You know? So I'm just like, oh yeah, let's do like it. Like a fun song. You yeah, like a on. fun song that I could do it. It's my homie. Like it will sound good, but also makes sense because we're homies or whatever it may be, you know? Got you. Can't yeah. you tell when, when like your homies like asking you just because they want like a big name a to name. be on it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they never really put a thought into like how you might sound on oh, the track. Oh yeah, like yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of people that do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. I mean, I feel like the, in the industry, that's common too. Yeah, it's yeah. not like a, a, like that's whack. Or, the people do that actually, yeah, but. Even, even like on like the, um, you know, since I do have like clout on the hip hop side and then, you know, like a lot of the people that have put in a lot of work in the K-pop, they, they try to get me or like Doki or like on the track so right. to like, try to get a little bit of that yeah, like yeah. that oh, authenticity or like, like hip-hop hip clout. clout i get you yeah but then it just doesn't sometimes it just doesn't mesh well yeah. you know like just yeah. because it's like <clears throat> the sound is so different and the the route we went is so different it's like when right. we meet yeah it's like it just doesn't sound well sometimes did but you, sometimes it does yeah. but sometimes did it you doesn't. do a track with koala to get some of that gangster clout or Facts. <laughs> Facts. Facts. i was like hey bro protect me <laughs> you wanted some protection right yeah Facts. Facts. he's extorting me bro <laughs> bro wink twice <laughs> <laughs> wait uh you guys none of you guys left the country in the last three years right uh oh you went yeah one, well you, you left one time I'm, i left this year Okay. Yeah, I left, I, match. yeah, I left yeah. this year for the Korean Zombie title fight. And that was just quick though. It was like a That was like a week. Um yeah. but you know, I went I went there, yeah. And so yeah, it was good. It was good. It and was you good. haven't left? I haven't back I haven't been back in like two years, two two and a half years. Damn. You haven't seen your parents in that long? No, but they came visit. Oh, they did separately. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I always it's trip. I I think I take that for granted because like I my parents live like a mile away from me. Yeah. And I still don't see them as often as I should. You know, I mean, oh. I feel kind of mm. bet fucked up about that because yeah. you guys sometimes won't see your parents for like. No, I, right. I see my parents every day. I, oh, just, okay. I just saw my mom at my house. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She just she just made me some pasta. Before <laughs> oh, yeah. that. No, but I talked to some other artists out here and like you know kill artists or whatever. No, for and sure. They don't talk. They don't see your parents for like a year or sometimes oh, no, two yeah, years. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. like, damn. Yeah. Like my parents, I haven't seen them for a really long time. I, I saw them recently. They came to visit for the first time last year. But I haven't seen them for a good like, man, like ten years. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Because I haven't went back. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, they came though. Yeah. You Facetime them and shit. Oh yeah, I, I keep in touch with them like every week, like text messages, uh, uh, Facetime. Yeah. But yeah, they could actually come back and forth now because I think they had like a. So like issues. an immigration thing, yeah, and then uh, they oh, finally yeah, got their yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, their their green, green card, card, so they could like freely come back and forth now. Mm. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, the government is watching, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I heard. I heard there's a new uh, the new president or whatever was trying to get rid of the Korean age thing. Is that a real thing? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The I think it's in the works. The Hangul Night. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah my. So those who aren't familiar, like Korean age. They add when you're in the mother's womb. The nine months, yeah. When yeah. You're in the mother's womb. So basically, however, 
old you are right now, you just add like one or two. two and, and and then also also is like the 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 right when it becomes January first, that's like you're you're automatically yeah. like you know you're older. Yeah. It you're, doesn't have to be past your birthday. Yeah. You're you're you, you start your age from the moment your dad ejaculates. Is that is that <laughs> yeah, true? Yeah, exactly. I heard exactly. that's exactly, exactly right when exactly. Yeah, so as soon as your dad busts a nut, and then when the, you're one day the sperm old, meets the egg, that's, that's when. Yeah. Okay, cool. No, no, no. But in in Korea, like let's say you're born like in the 2000s, right? Mm -hmm. Right when it turns January 1st, you're 22. Yeah. But then now I think they try to make it so that you turn 22 once your birthday passes. Once right, it's your birthday, right, right. not mm -hmm. when it's January 1st. That's just crazy. Yeah, that'd be and, crazy because like I'll be so my birthday is like in August. So I'll be like, uh, you'll be like 34, right? But when it hits January, I'm I'm two years older. Yeah, facts. So that's yeah. until my birthday hit. Yeah, Do you guys yeah. like that's it crazy. or not? You don't like? It? I, dude, I don't, I don't care. I just like it. Like it doesn't really matter. Like. As long as I get my work done and yeah. I'm like, you know. It, when you say your age, do you say your Korean age or American? I say my Korean age because I, yeah. you know, I only you say your Korean age. Yeah, because we're, we're talking to Korean, Korean people. people. Yeah. So but, yeah. But why, why would you? Why but not, that in, the, even well, matter, not, but not in the States. Like if yeah. I was in the States, yeah, I'd just yeah. say my, yeah. you know, my age that I am right now, age. which is 39. But, you know. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> do you, th do you think people would generally like, do they like it or do they not like it? They, uh, they like it in Korea because they, uh, they all want to be young here. Oh, no, they, oh, they like not doing the Korean age. No, for sure. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. Oh, they want to be younger. Likes it. They yeah. like the change. Yeah, but don't people want to be like the young status or like be older? Nah, no, no, no. Because you're, like you're still a young to whoever. That's <laughs> younger than you, so it doesn't really change yeah, that's anything. True. Yeah. That's true. It just it just makes everybody like a little bit younger. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's, I don't know. You know, I realized I'm not a fan of... Youngs in general. <laughs> don't you have a don't you have a song? I know. Oh, yeah. I have I I after I, I I hate it now. I hate the fucking song because like I just I'm not you know like you know young young like there's you know youngs have given me more headaches oh. than than less headaches. Oh, okay, right. I will. Well, well, youngs so, have stressed me out. Yeah. So you know? there's good youngs and there's bad youngs. That's true. Yeah. So I would just with everything. I have like, dealt with more bad youngs. Yeah. Than good just rest. like even right, like OGs. Right. Like there's different between OG and old head. I like Nunas. Young's not so much. You know what I mean? Young's. Yeah. I feel like an old head, like, they're not trying to teach you game. They're just trying to, like, nitpick it. Just because yeah, yeah. they're old. We were talking about this. Yeah, yeah, I feel like an OG, though. They're, like, trying to, you know. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. teach you game and, like, try to get you up on shit. I so. noticed in Korea, they, they act like a lot of the cool Young's, too, I've met. Like, the, at first, they're like, I can't. Young, I'm like, we're friends. Yeah. And then, like, time will pass and they'll, like, bring it up and be like, <laughs> they'll be like they'll, they'll bring it back and I'm like I thought you said it's cool I thought yeah. we're cool take you know like what four I mean? shots like, <laughs> like yeah that's what I'm saying they kind of like it after a while or some shit no, I don't it's know like, it's, it's I don't like I didn't understand it at first either but there's like a certain like bond like where it's like oh like this is my young like cause you know that's I true I don't just call anybody young like like if I'm gonna call you my young like I have to respect you you know what I'm saying like yeah, for sure there's a nice feeling about that too. No, like, for that's sure. my young. And even, yeah, even yeah, like, yeah. and vice versa, it's like, that's my Tongzeng. So I'm gonna look out for him. That yeah, type of shit, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. There was some like awkward situations where like, you know, like if like, like straight Koreans, like if they're, if they're like a year older, they're still, you know, in Korea, it's like, they're still considered young. young. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there'll be those like, that yeah. are like, you know, I'm 88. I yeah. was born 88. They're like 87. Right. They're like, you know, I meet them. They're like, you know, uh, we're, we're like, you know, grabbing a drink. And then I'm just like, oh, how old are you? They're like, oh, like I'm, yeah. Like 87. Right. But oh, I'm 88. It gets very awkward. Like, I'm just like, it's like a race. Like, I gotta be like, oh, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're yeah. friends. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if he says a like, young thing first, then I gotta be like, oh, yeah, yeah like, oh, uh, you're young. Like, you know? Yeah. So it's like, it's yeah. worse it's if like they're eight, it, it's It's worse if, if they're 87, born in January. Yeah, fact. So you're born in August 88, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah, you yeah. guys are like, what, like, Four, five months apart. Yeah, yeah, only yeah. five months apart. But they're like, oh, they're young. Oh, you're talking about palen par. Okay, if they're par par. Oh, shoot. Sure. Okay. Also, don't know that. So let me explain this. Let me explain this to the people. I'm getting lost in this young oh, okay. man. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's going deep. Let, right me, let me explain Carry this to the, the young, people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh yeah, my bad. So basically, if you're born in like January, January, let let's say you're born in um 1988, like January or February, then you go to you go to school with people that are born in 1987. So right. basically, you're considered like since all your friends, your chingus are 1987, 
then technically you're 1987. And so when you yeah. meet someone that's born in 1988, you're like, oh, not in p a r i c h i a Like, even though you're not born in 87, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just like, just since you went to school, people from 1987, wow. you're like, so that was when you meet confusing. someone, like early birthdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed that's a huge thing I hear, like the class you're in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, whatever yeah, relationship yeah, 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 too yeah, yeah, you yeah, have. Yeah, yeah that's another thing. Like, so it's like, for, for me, like, for example, I, I'm born in April 1987, right? So I'm friends with Kyu Hyun, who was born in, in February 1988. Yeah. Mm. So all his friends are 1987. Mm. But I'm also friends with e s e n s e who was born in February 1987. All his friends are 1986, but I didn't go to school with him. I met him at a club. Mm. Right. So he's like, right. so technically it's like all the people, my friends are called, would call him Hyung. So Benzino calls e s e n s e Hyung, but then I'm friends with Benzino and I'm friends. So it, it's like this weird, That's like weird. it messes up all the yeah. relationships, all the hierarchy. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, it messes up the hierarchy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I mean, that, I had to learn. Like I was, I was kind of confused first, and then there was just like uh, Nuna. Well, I have to call her Nuna now because you know she checked me. I was like, <laughs> I was like, she yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, nah, I was like, you know, I mean, I, I forgot where I was at. I was like, uh, like, like, like at a lounge or something. But and then um, I was just like, yeah, how old are you? And then she was like, oh, I like um. I'm, I'm born in 88. I was like, me too. She was like, wait, hold up. So when's your birthday? Oh, I was like, huh? She I was like, like, in August? She was like, oh, it's like, I'm a Nuna. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean you're a Nuna? I was like, you were born in 88. She was like, I'm January. Damn, she was nah, like, I'm yeah. a fast 88. Yeah, I was like, nah, nah. man, I didn't go to school here. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. I, don't, I don't do that. Like, yeah. you know? Carlos ready to run the fade. He's like, wow. Well, I, <laughs> I, like, I was like, Bobby, I, I don't mind calling you Nuna. I mean, if that's, if that's what you want, but you know. So I'll call you Nuna. Yeah. What is the dynamic with like girls? Do they like the whole Nuna thing? Like, is it the same similar kind dude, of the young? I, I don't know. I, I think it depends on the person, bro. Yeah, yeah, to be yeah. honest, I think it depends on the person. Because yeah. there's like, there's cougars in the States and there's, you know, people who like, so, so I think it depends on the person. What, is it like with the di dating dynamic here, is it more taboo for like a Nuna to date a younger dude? No, I don't it's think not, so. It's, it's, it's regular. It's yeah, like everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a preference. I think it's a okay. Preference, yeah. For some reason, I thought it would be like like weirder or something. Like they would not be like maybe back then. It's very sexist of you. No, <laughs> no, it's not. It's an observation that I've seen. I just playing. You know no, what no, I mean? It's, yeah, it's it's fine. It's yeah. Both uh, everything is like as long as it's not illegal. Obviously, yeah, yeah, as long yeah. as it's not illegal, like everything mm. is fine. Yeah. Mm. Korea is a lot more. I feel like that accepting of a yeah, too, a lot yeah. more accepting of everything because of you know social media and like even like. What is it like? Shit on Netflix, like Singles Inferno and all the mm, dating shows. Yeah. Like you wouldn't be able to see. You guys like, see you Singles didn't. Inferno? I didn't. I don't. I don't. I don't really like dating shows. It's like it's it's. Why? I love trash TV. That's my shit. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, you don't I like that? I watched it. You watch it's it? Good. What you yeah, think? It's good. It's good. You like it's it? It's like it's entertaining. Like, it's, I not, I, it's not like a great like. Show it's I, not. Like, it's, it's, it's so, there's so much basic moments. Like they were like, "Oh, what's your type?" And the girl was like, "Kang i p u n ko." Oh, and I was like, yeah. a pretty fucking nose is your type? <laughs> like, the motherfucker could be a psychopath, but like, if he has a nice nose. Someone just had on their profile pictures a picture of their nose. Like, <laughs> oh my God. So you qualify. It's uh, like, all right. Like, I thought that shit was fucking am hilarious. I your type? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. You, you liked very it. Korean. Um, yeah. yeah. I, 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 like, I, like, I like the drama. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's entertaining for me. Koreans are good at that for sure. Yeah. No, I mean, even in the States, there's like, there's like, I feel like in the, the US, they're like the ultimate, yeah. like, it's like the pioneers of like extreme, like, what reality. is it? Reality oh, survival. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Survivor. Yeah, yeah. That shit yeah. was like out when I was in like, Elementary school. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just like fire. the ultimate, like mm. you know, try to uh, instigate shit between real people, world, like, like real world. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's real world like, Korea would be tight. <laughs> I think I think they have some shit like that. Like Wouldn't that should be tight. I mean, they have Terrace House, J J oh, Japan, yeah. bro. You know? they, 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 they 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 made Heart Signal. Like what, right, that's right. Terrace House. PA game. Isn't that like real world? <laughs> Aninga? Heart signal? No, that's, but it wouldn't be like that. Like yeah. Terrace House. That's oh, the heart Rainbow. signal is the joint that Sylvia yeah, is bro, on, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, there's like there's hella reality TV shows yeah, now, yeah. like hella. Yeah, but I'm saying more like for the Western. No, no, you like, know, to, like to watch. Like you could watch it. Like there's yeah. like a bunch of just there's like this thing called Money Game. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, that. you know that? You know they're make remaking oh. that American. Are they? Yeah. They, no, they had it, and Rec was on it. Oh yeah, no, no. What? Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. did you watch the 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 the, the yeah, YouTube version of Money Game? Yeah. No, but they're gonna do like a no, real Money Game profession. is a YouTube thing. It, right, 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 right. So Rec was, was on it. Money Game America. Transparent produced it. Yeah. Oh, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube. He's the funniest character. Yeah. Because they're like, "What are you gonna do with the money?" He's like, "I'm gonna buy NFTs." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he was fucking ridiculous because you know how you got to spend, you got to buy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he spent like a thousand dollars getting a vape. Yeah, right. <laughs> a vape pen. So they hated this yeah, motherfucker. They hated they it. Hate, and in the comments, hate this fool. <laughs> but he's a fun, he's the most entertaining dude. No, for sure, Everyone's for sure. all like, yeah. fucking. He's the villain. He's yeah, the yeah villain. he's a villain. Everyone's all like, I need a villain. To pay yeah, for, for my sure. dog's surgery. He's like, I'm going to get NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> that's just hilarious so you're saying they're gonna make actual like series of it like on Netflix Netflix or something I, I heard on they're gonna platform. make a bigger mm. production version oh, wow. of it which is which would go crazy yeah yeah which, I, yeah go ahead would you be on Money Game <laughs> yeah I, I, I mean I thought about this like about reality shows like yeah. would I do a reality show and I don't know like that'd be my last leg of my career you yeah, know yeah. But that'd be a nice little card to play. But what play. kind of reality? There's yeah, like there's money game where you, you have to survive. But there's also like, like you love, you know, love affair. A uh, bling empire where it's like there's no survival at all. It's just a, like reality TV. Yeah. That that's what I'm saying. Like that kind of shit. Oh. Like I I don't know. I think I feel like I would be entertaining because I would play it up. Mm, right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Would you guys do it or what? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. It it depends on the show. Like yeah. it depends on like if I have to. I don't know, because a lot of reality TV isn't real. Yeah, they scripted a lot yeah, of it yeah, for yeah. sure. So it's like, I don't know. I don't they, know. they like make the things happen. You know, a lot of the dating shows uh, like, or like uh, they feed people alcohol a lot. Oh, no, for sure. For yeah. sure. I, I, I so don't think they, they have like yeah, a they script, loose. but I think they definitely like maneuver the direction that yeah, people, yeah. Sure. They're like, you, know, you what, go over there. Go yeah, there. yeah, like they yeah. instigate Yo, things to happen. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, feeling yeah, you, yeah. man. Hey, <laughs> take these two drinks. Take these two drinks. Yeah, right. right. She, got, kid, a <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> got a pretty nose, right? She got a pretty nose, right? Am I your type? Definitely. How about you, Carl? You, you, you fuck with reality? You gonna you would be gone? I mean, like, I like, like him, like, it depends, like, what kind, like, nothing like, uh, I don't know about like money game and stuff like that, but uh, like certain reality, reality shows, I could like I think I could like an like, exposure thing. Would you do it to get like you know? Because people get famous off that shit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. If, like I, I could kind of see myself in some. Yeah. yeah would you like? Uh, I mean, you you know, play I mean, that character. Like, huh? like what kind of character would you be? Would you be like checking fools and shit? Or <laughs> no, like, no, 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 no. I mean, I, I'm just no. Gonna, you just be like, hey, you good, good to go. go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just vibe out, you feel me? And just, uh, no, it depends if it's a competition. I feel like everybody here, though, like, I feel like, you know, of course, becoming famous and whatever, whatever, that, that that's cool, but it's it's all part of, like, getting exposure for what you create and your, what you what hold, what you hold valuable instead yeah. of just, like, being, you want to be famous and loved by a bunch of people. So, like, you care how you get famous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, if you're famous for... You know, some reasons that you don't want to be famous, and what's the point? Yeah, right. Yeah. But did you guys? Did you guys? When when you guys started, like back in the day, obviously you wanted. We had these big dreams, right? And because yeah. a lot of the people we compared ourselves to or wanted to be, they were rich and famous. No, of course. So was being famous a part of your goal? I know a lot of people always say this, like I want money, but I don't want to be famous. Like no. I actually wanted to be famous. Right. Okay. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm famous, but I want to be it, like because all my idols and stuff no, were sure. famous. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, like, right. yeah, like they were household names. Like yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah. that. Right. So like, how about you guys? Like, was that something? Because we're no one's ready for it. You know. No, for sure, right. for sure. And I think like it happens, and then you kind of adapt to it. Like you're not ready for it. Like because yeah, you could be ready for for all the you know all the love and attention but are you ready for all the accountability and responsibility right. all the headaches and and pain headaches, and suffering yeah. that comes with it i don't know like so once you experience it then you start to adapt to it um and then you know like for me i, I don't think the goal was ever to be famous but it's just like you know okay like it's like part of the yeah just thing. shit happens and then yeah. you become like a singer and then oh it's like a lot of people know you and then you got to learn how to deal with it and then like yeah. you got to try to maintain it because like, you know, attention and fame equals into revenue. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because if no one, if you're not in demand, if because you, you're, everybody's a freelancer here, right? Right. So if you're not in demand, then basically you're not getting revenue. Like, you know. I know there's headaches and shit, but you ever think about if you weren't like just waiting in the line at the club and shit? <laughs> you're, the, you're in the back of the line, <laughs> fucking freezing and shit. Like, ah, oh, fuck. And you get right in front of the line. They're like, we're at capacity. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about that? You ever think about it? That's there's a fucking headache there's, there's too. Definitely, definitely a lot of perks, you know? Uh, That's uh, a headache. Yeah, yeah, I don't know for sure. I mean, you know, it's it's a, it's a gift and a curse. It's a gift and a curse. It know? is. It, yeah. It's definitely like, and also is if you get too kind of, if you feed into your fame too much or your, your ego too much or like, you're like, oh shit, like since everybody treats you like 
you're above mm. a right. human being and you start thinking that yourself, God's gonna check you real quick. There's He's gonna of, humble you real quick. There's so. a lot of people who can't handle it. I have like famous, <clears throat> like two famous homies that one is like, can handle it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're just, they love it. And the cameras are on and they just like, they're swagged out. They're getting along with everybody. Yeah. And another person's like anxiety up the mm. ass with that shit. Oh, okay. Mm. You know, and yeah. it's yeah. like, I've seen the the terrors right. of, of like no, for sure. that person's going through, you know, it's like. And I, I think it's like, you know, let's say like actors, right? Yeah. Like, like movie stars, like they're famous because everything they do is in private and then you see the finished product and they get famous for that. But yeah. as we're like, entertainers like singers and stuff like that they have to be in front of like thousands of people Crowds. so they probably handle it a little bit better than when that's true that's you know, good like actually life yeah 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 so I, I think it depends on like the the field as well you know i i realize like after kind of seeing music famous musicians and actors like that musician life is like it's more rock starry for sure uh yeah i mean i think like it, that fame it depends on the person as well because i that's heard true. like the, the yeah. cast of saved by the bell was fucking you know what like the just, wild I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I'm like fine. like rock star shit. I'm just, yeah, like like they're like walking through the mall and like. Wait, that's the teenage. Yeah, because like, yeah. that teenage fame is like a different thing. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. you're when you got the kids, yeah. you know, when the kids were fucking with you yeah. and you're on magazine like that, that's a different. Yeah, thing. back back in the day when like all them like sitcoms and all the teenagers were famous because the sitcoms. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What is that like Nickelodeon? Like all those. No, Disney? like 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 even Friends. Like when they're oh, when yeah, they're in their oh. when they're in their twenties, like they're like the most famous. Oh yeah, yeah. They're getting true. like a million dollar per episode. Yeah, yeah. It kind of sucks. I, I kind of wish I was famous when I was young. Really? Do you think that's a good thing? I don't think I've ever seen a good example of a child that's true. actor or like somebody that got famous <laughs> super young Very and then they grew up to be like a really. It's yeah. always so messy, and they turn out to be like so crazy. Is like, that the same out here? Like child stars that? Uh no, I, I don't know. I. I there are cases like that. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. I mean, right. but but I th I think it's because it's like, how do you, how do you, how are you supposed to, um, suspect or like expect somebody to act normal when nobody treats them normal? Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, it's a delusion. Like yeah. it's, you live in a fictional world. Like, the right. way people treat you yeah, when you're like, famous. Yeah, like everybody's like, oh, and then so how is this person supposed to yeah, right. like try to act normal when like everybody's like, oh. Right. Like, you know, yeah. like, it just Shit's supposed make... to be free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. I mean, I think that's why I think it's very important to have somebody next to you that like keeps you in check and like, you know, yeah. keeps on like reminding you, hey, like, don't, don't let this to get into your head. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean? so, you got to remind yourself as well a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, yeah it's think, hard. It's hard to have real motherfuckers around because they're also <laughs> benefiting too. Yeah. So they don't want to cross the line yeah. of saying the wrong shit and you get cut off. Oh, you know? I, I, but even that, like even that, like cutting somebody off, that that just in itself, if you if if you can't handle criticism, like then you're you're already like fed into your own ego. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Like but you, you know what? Got, that's, you gotta humble yourself. This brings up a good thing because I I wanted to ask you all this because I've dealt with this too. Like at what capacity do you cut off a friend? You know what I mean? Like, cause you have a friend that you might go through thick and thin, but there, is there a point where you just can't take whatever bullshitness no, of sure. it? Like, what is the point? Cause do you become a dick for cutting that person off when it's like the roughest time or is it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I, I kind of struggle with that sometimes. I, I, like, think, I, I think for me, it's like when it's better, when it's, when you helping them out is better, or is, affecting them negatively because mm. you know it's like it's one thing where it's like it becomes a, ha a habit or they become too lenient on you or right, right, it's right, like right. it's like mm. if you ask for a favor and that gets them to the next step cool but then if it's like if you're enabling the terrible exactly, behavior yeah if you're enabling like a, a certain habit or you know behavior it's like then then what are you doing for them you right, know what i'm saying right, like right. you're 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 technically you know listening to their favor and helping them out but yeah. in the long run you know, in the big picture, you're not really helping them out. You got to so. help them out by cutting them off. You're yeah, saying. yeah. Because mm. yeah. then and they're like, be like self sufficient. Yeah, well, not not self sufficient, but it's like, yo, like if they don't have this to lean on or dependent on this, then they're gonna find a way to, you know. Yeah. Improvise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Damn. Or they're gonna realize something or epiphany or something, you know. All right. Well, time to cut something. <laughs> Wait, but it sounds, it sounds like you have like I'm gonna be experience. like dumb stop asking me to be on the podcast <laughs> I'm just no 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 I mean uh, you know the, the, those are things that I've struggled with too you know okay. because I have had friends in the past too and I didn't 
I, I don't I don't want to feel like a dick. No, of course, you know? of course. It's like if there's a truth going through thick and thin, right? Then you gotta, I guess, be like, there for I guess, him. Like, I guess, be more specific. Yeah, you know, like what what happened that made you feel like, oh, if I cut cut him off or her off, I might be. Well, it's also not even just for them, but it's also for me. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm mean? like for for ourselves. Yeah. No, for sure, like, for sure. Maybe. Yeah, if it's like if you feel like he's like kind of like bringing you down. Right. Yeah, for sure. It's like you know, it's like multiple times after you give him multiple chances. Yeah, it's like there's nothing you can do anymore. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, bro, like. Like, get you're your not, shit, like, get your shit together. I'm like, more talking. Yeah, I'm <laughs> talking to me later. Yeah, <laughs> I'm more talking about people that I've already kind of cut mm, off because right. it's not like I mean, if you're sticking to me right now, then it's already been a long time. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I guess it was like a lot of younger, <laughs> and people. And it's like a like a hood ethic too, right? Like people in. I'm, I don't, I'm not even gonna point at you, like. <laughs> 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 but the 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 whole code. Mm. Of the streets too. Mm. It's like, yo, what the fuck? You changed yeah, that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Did they ever say that to you? Like, dog, you changed, bro. You're a dick. There's people in K Town too, you know, because that neighborhood is just like very K Town, and they're like, what the fuck? Like, what? Like, you're repping the neighborhood, but you're not hanging out with us all the time, right? No, for sure. It's like, well, fucking, like, I'm trying to do shit. Yeah, you know? no, that sure. happens right, to right. A, like everybody though. Like after you kind of gain a little bit of, uh, you know, like notoriety, yeah, and stuff like that. I mean, there is, there are gonna be those people that's at least there's gonna be a couple of them. They're gonna be like, yo, like, like you know, they're gonna like kind of like nitpick at you. They're gonna be like, yo, like it's like that now, like. But. No, so for, for, to just to break it down very simply for me, it's like, all right, if if I if I still feel like there's love between us, like yo, I, I'm down to help out. But I, if mm. I feel like you're taking advantage of me, yeah, yeah. right. Then it's like, all right, cool. Like you're 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 not giving me the respect. Like you're 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 just yep. being dependent, and you're looking for an easy way out. Right. So and I, you know, I'll let that slide once. Yeah. But then if it's like a continuous habit, then it's like, all right, cool. Like you know, you you you're just you're not really, you're not really valuing our relationship. Mm. Basically, yeah. is what I'm right. is what and I'm trying to say. You can tell so, as the know. person that's being asked for a favor. You can tell right it's off. Like, it's like, like I haven't seen you for, or talked to you for like five, ten years. It's like, hey, yo, hey, let's yeah, so much, man. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Could I ask you something? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's for sure. I think a lot of uh, celebrities' kids grow up like that, though, right? Like celebrities' kids are, have the world at their fingertips. Yeah, and they get mm. spoiled. No, for sure, they get spoiled. Yeah. But also, it's like. You know, they might have trust issues because everybody's trying to, you know, g- get something off them or benefit Take something advantage. off them or like, you know. Yeah. So uh, it, it's look, everything. Everything comes with like it's like a double edged sword. Everything. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. If there's right. pluses, there are minuses. If there's advantages, there's disadvantages. Everybody has hardships in life or things that they're going through, whether <clears> you're <throat> dirt poor, whether you're super rich. It's like all different demons, you know. Yeah. So. Well, Koala, what, tell me a little bit about your story. I actually don't know much about you. Yeah. In general. Yeah. So. Uh, what brings you to Korea? Or whatever you're, whatever you're comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah, know, yeah. I know, so yeah. Uh, basically, I'm, I was born here uh, in Seoul, and uh, I went to the states, uh, California, when I was three. Yeah. And then you know, basically, I lived there for about like, like twenty years, and I came back eleven years ago, uh, for uh, various reasons. But uh, <laughs> either, I just came back, and right. then um, you know, like a lot of friends were here. You know, they were teaching English. Gotcha. You. you know, we're young. I mean, that was good money at the time. Right. Like, you know, it was like, like, but like 2000, like 2300. Like, yeah. you know, that was a lot back then when you were yeah, young. Yeah. 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 So, so there's know, like a bunch of like little kids going like, good to go. Like, it was, it was, it was wild back then. Yeah. Like, you know, we was too good to go. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like, like I came here, like, you know, the, the way, you know, like, you know, Kyopo's like, they kind of, you know, they kind of drink a, very aggressively. Like, you know, yeah. we, I came, like, I didn't really, I wasn't a big drinker. Right. And I came, I was just like, yo, like, how's it done out here? And then uh, I'm with just all Kyopo's, right? Like friends from back home. They're just like, you know, like a soulmate, like yeah. a soldier. Mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like they will just a one shot, like 10 of them, like within like five minutes. Dang. So I'm like, this is how y'all drink here? Like, like I'm already like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I've been here for 30 minutes and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm on the yeah. verge of blacking out, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then y'all trying to hit the club? Like, yeah. you know, I'm just like, oh my. It's like, no wonder we always black out. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I mean, just came here, was teaching a little bit. Um, I was a, I was always into music, but you know, I mean, just being like, you know, kind of like, kind of Asian, you know, I wasn't like as confident. Right. And then um, I met, you know, John John and Jay Row out here. Yep. And then, you know, I, I knew they were into music, but you know, we're out here, we, we vibed out, we clicked. And then um, I knew, I knew they were very like uh, talented, like John, I remember one time he was just kind of showing me like his beats and you know, he, he actually like uh, spit a couple of verses that he wrote. And I was like, kind of, I was shocked. I was amazed. I was like, whoa, like, you know, we got to like kind of put your product out here, like, you know? So naturally, you know, 
you know, Jesse came along while I was cool with her. And that yeah. was, I knew he was a good lyricist. So, you know, just naturally kind of like pieced it together. You guys and, really mesh well with Jesse too. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know? weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, not just even in music, but just as like, yeah, yeah, like so homies. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, first like a crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, a crew. Yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. ass. But nah, first we're, uh, of course, we're just, we're close friends. Yeah. And, um, you know, just naturally just kind of like uh, we vibe down into the studio. Um, you know, I, you know, John and Jay, they've been in the game. So I, I just kind of start, you know, just kind of being there with them, mm. kind of learning, still learning. Yeah. Giving my two cents, mm. you know, and then just, uh, yeah, just keep on. Just Apparently on I was responsible for you guys meeting each other. Didn't you tell me that or no? No, no, no. That was, that was pass. Oh, it was past. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I know. For, like first, first we met. Like, oh no, no, just no, no, randomly. no, no, no. Oh no, no. Yeah, it yeah, was, he you. was. It was he you. was. was he you. was. Because you called me out to um some some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought midnight, you told midnight, me this. Midnight. Midnight. Like you, you, you called told me because no, 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 no. First facts, facts. of all, Jesse loves taking credit for you guys meeting each other, but you told me that I I no for sure no because yeah yeah that and this is when you you called me out and I I went to you it was easy one. No. And then that's probably before you guys even knew each other, no? Or no, no, no. I knew him. He, oh, okay. uh, so actually, uh, I think I talked to you. I texted you or something. And you, you pulled up. It was like some club I called like midnight. Uh, he pulled up. Uh, somebody was performing. And they, he told me you was coming. So I was like, oh, yeah, for sure, man. I'm going to let him hear my track. And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was then, like, Andre, are you drinking? And I remember he came. It was like a little like uh, spot we had in the yeah. corner. Yeah. And then, you know, I... I told him about my song. Yeah. He probably stayed there for like I mean, like five minutes. No, left. for sure, for sure. Yeah. And so, yeah. I was like, I remember, where you yeah, going? I remember him and John came up, and then they're like, "Yo, we're rappers. Like, we're called Bobblehead. Check out, check out our song Solo that's, Dolo." Yeah, yeah. And that's the first day I was like, oh, I, "I gotta leave." It's time to leave. But to me, I remember that clearly. Like, you know, I mean, he. I don't know if he was acting. I mean, I'm pretty sure he memorized it. He was just like. Like repeating the title, he's like, oh, solo dolo. Like he repeated it like five times, and he was like, okay, cool. And then he left. I, yeah. I, I heard I was just like, hey. I heard you were standing in the rain, would get to go on a thumb drive, <laughs> just waiting for him to come out the club. <laughs> no, no the, the reason why I repeated it is because I was trying to remember, just yeah, trying yeah, to look yeah. it up. I actually yeah. looked it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't do that a lot. Like yeah. I was, like, but they were just like so like yeah. aggressive. <laughs> no, not, 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 not <laughs> even aggressive. Just like yo, like check us out. Like yeah, that yeah. on some like yeah. Sincere shit. So I was like, all right, for sure. Like, like you gotta respect drinking? that. Yeah. I like no, that. Sure. You know? I was like, all right, for sure, for sure. And then so you I, don't I see check that it out. kind of like like attitude often nowadays. You know, like, like hey, right. check me out. Hey, like yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. my stuff. Like, like the like, go getter. Like no, right. not not like advantageous. Just just no, like, like being like confident. Yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, the go getter yeah, yeah. attitude. Well, I, I, that brings up a good point though, because for instance, for you tell me how you feel about this, right? Is it having Nunchi to like not go up to an artist and play him your shit you know what i mean or it, like because the nunchi i feel like stops people from shit like well, that no, that attitude course. sometimes right. you know well, what i mean I like it no, depends sure. is it better to not have yeah exactly is it better to not well, have nunchi it, just, you know so I, it's for me it's like if you're confident in, enough you're in, in your shit we're like all right i'll see you one day like then yeah. then like no but then like let's say like big sean right. you know he went up to yeah, like, to, right. to yay and mm -hmm. he's like yo hear me rap and he just yeah. started spitting and he got yeah. signed so right, right, right. It, it depends on right. you know I guess I mean it's like two different methods. Yeah, to be yeah. Honest. It depends. Yeah. It depends. Like I feel like if you're if you shouldn't have nunchi like if you're hungry, like you should just yeah. go out and be right. ruthless with it. Just sell yourself. Right, you right, know right, what I'm right. saying? Like and it, especially if you're confident in your shit. But also it's like, you know, you should also be confident in your shit where it's like you're like, yo, I'm I'm a I'm gonna do this myself. You know, yeah. so it, I think there's like two methods. Yes, I don't. I don't understand that sometimes. I guess like every rapper is different about it. You know, sometimes right. you'll start rap, rapping mm -hmm. for a rap, uh, like a big dude, yeah. and he's like, "Nah, that's not it, bro. That's mm -hmm. not how you come up to me." No, uh, but is it? But it's like you're hungry. It's right. kind of that is one of the ways, right. isn't it? You know. Yeah. Also, I think you have to. I think you have to <laughs> wait for the right timing too. Like, you don't interrupt to, them to, like during yeah. their private dinner. It was like, like, hey, like, that, like bro, that, this is church. Like, <laughs> this is not the time. This is church right now. We're at a funeral. <laughs> We're at a funeral right now. Also, I think it's like it depends on the rapper as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because like you know, if if you're gonna go up to like, I don't know, like. Little Dirk or something like that. Be like, yo, listen to me rap, and then start like he might kind of be like, well, fuck, like get away from me, bro. Like, or but if you want, if you do it for like, like Jermaine Dupri or something, like he might be like, all right, oh okay, like you know. So I think it depends on the rapper as well. That's true. I dude, I was taking a, I was taking a piss this one time, and this dude was like, because I was on Show Me the Money at that time, <laughs> yeah, 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 and he's like, yo. Can you listen to me rap? And I was like, bro, like. In Korea? Yeah, in Korea. So you're taking a piss. Yeah. And, 
He like waited outside the bathroom, and he's like, "Yo, can uh, you?" Weird, I, and I think that's I, not hunger. That's rude. <laughs> and I think I heard him rap. From what I remember, this is like six, seven years ago. Uh, actually, years ago, I will say, <laughs> that's kind of rapping weird. for a, a a dude while he's taking a piss is the perfect time. The people can't go nowhere. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna listen to these bars. You're gonna listen to these bars, track, bro. Uh, what if they're on the stall right next door? Like, yo, Jay, he's taking a shit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like sitting in the stall. They like pass me the lyrics like under the stall, and they you're just start rapping. And shit. You're banging on the stall, just be putting like. <laughs> It's got a good, good echo too. In the yeah, rapping, so good acoustics, like, yeah. bro. Yeah, no, I feel that. I, there, it's you gotta gotta find the right time. No, for sure, right yeah. time, right rapper. Yeah. That was the right time, bro. No, and then you know, and yeah, then I, right I, I, I was like, what? You know, and then I listened to the song. I was like, cool, and I, you know, forgot about him. And then like, you know, I just saw him here and there, and then that's how we got cool. And you guys like became friends and shit, right? No, for sure, for sure. That's the yeah, home. yeah. So, well, me and him were more like uh, that day. I saw him. We we chopped it up. You know, he left in like five minutes, and then um, later, I think. Uh, Second time, part through Jesse. No, no, I think it was through Pass's music video. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then, that? so and that, then, yeah. that's when we started getting cool. And then I saw them working with Jesse, and I was that's, like, all right, cool. That's like, when yeah. I went up to Jay. I was like, yo, yo, what, hey, how you been? You know, I was like, hey, can I get that follow back on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, can I get that follow back? <laughs> I was like, <sighs> I, Jay, can I, see your ah. I was like, I pressed it for him. <laughs> <laughs> that that is funny though. Like when someone asks you to follow back, you never want to follow uh, back that person. Right. <laughs> Oh, man. but you said you don't usually hang out with Kyopos. I don't. I, so the, the only the only Kyopos I hang out with are probably people in music. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I'm like well, like transparent. You, but is there like an like is that a, like an energy thing? Like usually vibe I, more with non Kyopos. I don't know. I, I, so I don't know because I, I either have friends that are all in music that are Kyopos or just like straight up Korean friends. Are you the same way? I think you're kind of the same way too, right? You have less Kyopos friends then. Uh, no, I think you had like Kyopos friends in New York and stuff like that. Here. Yeah, you're a homebody. We know. <laughs> yeah. I only hang out with Jay and Koala. That's it. Really? Yeah. So, and we're Gilpo. So, I yeah, technically, yeah. he does have Gilpo That's friends. True. But like all my friends in Seattle, like like I had like one Gilpo friend in Seattle. Yeah. And then everyone else is like Mexican or like for those black who don't know what Gilpo means, uh, means Korean, Korean American, Korean American yeah. or English short. or Asian American in general. I guess. Asian. Do you have to be? I don't know. We sound ignorant as fuck right now. I don't yeah, know I know. Do you have to be? <laughs> do you have to be Korean or Asian to be a gilpo? No, or you could just be a foreigner, oh, right? Isn't just, it just you're, foreigner? You're just making us look bad. Just stop. <laughs> just move. Next topic. All right. All right. How does my nose look? Am I your and type? Leave it in the comment if you actually know the definition of gilpo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Let us know. That's that's how everyone became friends, pretty yeah. much. Facts, facts. Um, it was a small, you know, it's, it's like a small circle too. I mean, I don't know about now, but before it was like a, you know, everybody knew somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Gilpo, like, yeah especially if, especially if you're in music and stuff like yeah, that. It's like, for sure. and then if you're a rapper, it's like you can't help but meet like someone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, what's um? I asked this yesterday to uh, the guest who was on the show. Um, is there any new trends? In Korea, like you notice, like is there a new anything? It could be yeah. in food, it could be in whatever, I like mean, on the streets. There's always trends. Yeah, Every, like what's always. a what's a Koreans like, like trends? What's yeah. a recent trend? You know, like I, oh. I feel like even YouTubing, like everybody does YouTube now, mm. Mm. literally. Like, yeah, I was talking to date, you know, Taeba, um, uh, the homie who was on. Uh, he said because he was like a first generation YouTuber here. Yeah, and, and, and so so are we. Were we technically? I, I guess we started in like 2000, like 10. You started That's in like 2008. That is true. Yeah. We were on the trend way before the trend. I know, but I'm not a first generation YouTuber out here. No, for sure. Because okay. it was a little later, I think. No, for here. sure. But that's that's huge out here. I think you, yeah, YouTube, like, you know, so everything like, cul like culinary wise, like fashion wise, like dance wise, every the whole bar like is up here now. Like, yeah. and, and you could see like, even like with um, Korean content, like like dramas and movies, it's like, you see it go globally, like mm. blow up. That's true. And even music, you know, music, everything. Dancers like, out here are celebrities now. Yeah. Dancers, yeah, dancing yeah. is uh, huge right now. So I see a lot of dance reels now. Mm. Like yeah. reels, uh, reels is like, um, TikTok, of course, like TikTok on Instagram. Yeah, but all those dan like, individual dancers, I, was it the show that blew that up? No, no, the, no, yeah, the, the street, street, street Woman street, Fighter. Yeah. Street Woman Fighter. That, so they, they blew up, but I'm just talking about in general, like you, before, it was very rare that like just regular people could dance. Now, because right. of like TikTok and all the challenges right. and stuff, you Everybody see like little, little, ki like little like kids. Like Bailey, Bailey Sock. No, she's she's, she's on another level. Yeah, yeah, she's like in LA on another level. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about just like 
regular, regular Korean right. high, high school kids. students who wear like right. like uniforms. Right, right. They're like, I've seen that. Ah, like, <laughs> uh, like, you know that one, like, uh, the chubby kid with the glasses yeah. who looks like Rec. Oh, that that dude's fire. That dude yeah. is sick, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, but it's like the, yeah. the swag, the overall swag of like the Korean people. Yeah. Because before it's like when when they're doing stuff that like crossed over from America, like it didn't look right. Mm, right. But now it's like they have the swag down. They have their own slep swag and the flavor to it. I'm like, oh shit! They have their own style. Like they, yeah. fi- everybody figured it out. That's true. So like when you walk on the streets, like everybody looks cooler. They look better. Like the food tastes better. Like the dancers. Yo, look you know cooler. what's crazy? Like, I feel like Korean people are so good at taking something and just learning it. it. Yeah. And adapting to whatever is well, new. For sure. Yeah. So like so crazy did did you do you guys know like after the korean war north korea was te- like a little bit richer than south korea uh, oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah that, this so, is what um whatchamacallit was saying that girl yesterday was saying yeah. the same thing about so, this so think about like what we had to go through to be here like now we're like yeah yeah you know yeah one of the economic powerhouses now it's, you know what I'm saying? like the resilience of yeah. it you know what i it's mean like we had to we had to adapt we had to hurry up and make make something of you know whatever we had and then try to figure it out right, and try right. to find a way to feed ourselves and to you know make money and etc et et from so. fucking rice fields to samsung phone chips <laughs> you know what <laughs> i mean <laughs> like a, uh launched the rocket too, a korean team a team of scientists and the budget was like very very small compared to like the small. american budget like but the they first still game? still got it there bro so. I, I heard like the whole squid games cost less than like one episode of game of thrones <laughs> like really yeah that's what i heard i didn't know that that's what so very very cost efficient very very um squid every year we get one thing that's like popping mm. squid game was that year you know parasite, yeah, yeah. we had parasite. like you know parasite minari you know BTS and then fucking Pachinko. Squid Game, you know, Pachinko, yeah. It's well, we get what being consistent. Hey, but shout out to Sai who did it like ten years ago. Gangnam Style, yeah, Gangnam Style. Sure. like Sai who did it like ten years ago. That's true. Gangnam Style was fucking crazy. Yeah, was crazy. Was just, and then you had the cool. underground Gangnam Style was just Ichima. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Facts. And BTS. Hey, let's crazy. not forget BTS though. Oh, BTS I mean, BTS just, all the way through yeah, but that, for a decade. Yeah, you know, yeah like, they, they're, they're, they're like. They're already in. Yeah. We're talking about the one like banger yeah, every that, year. Like, you know? That like got Korea on the map like mm. globally all of a sudden, like out of nowhere. What's what's next? Fun with them. Facts. Mm. Fun with them. 2023. <laughs> Fun with them. You know what Facts. I mean? Yes, sir. Hang in there. Yeah, yeah. Hang in there. <laughs> I love every year. It's just like, you know, when the thing about having the one banger though is annoying. It's like. They just like c- uh, compare your whole culture to that one thing. Facts, facts. Right. I'll run into like a black homie and be like, Squid Games, dog. <laughs> Squid Games. No, that was, it was like, you know, every single like B Boy battle you go out, everybody's just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. so, but you know, it's, it's a start. And then, you know, it's, it's better than nothing. yeah, it's better than nothing. It's a start. And then it's going to progress until where like other, Fact, facets of the culture and whatever will all, all be you know get I, out there so i find it fascinating the, the the formula of certain things that just go so crazy viral, viral? like the virality of it you know what i mean like mm-hmm. Cognum style like i watched it one time and i couldn't stop watching that shit like 10 to, and everybody had the same right. feeling you know what i mean yeah. like what are those things that just like it's just it's just that, that makes like, something go viral yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just like on a different level though you I know think you could recipe. pinpoint that like there's no like such a thing where oh like this is gonna go viral like, just, just something about like, it you know? yeah because I, I yeah because if you knew the answer then then we would be lit <laughs> this would already be yeah. viral this would be viral okay. I, I felt that about squid game too same way really i watched it and i was like okay this shit is different Good. yeah and yeah. it's gonna go crazy yeah yeah, yeah. and what it about, did what about baby shark baby i can I, I, I baby predict. shark i don't understand yeah baby sh- i don't it's know kids. it's kids it's kids, kids just it's kids stuff yeah. no but you, you know the creative that is korean yeah yeah it's, it's, it's a is? korean yeah. song i think do koreans understand virality think like viral shit of course oh, we yeah. must know something a formula i don't know i don't know but they you know they're like yeah. And then but then they, they changed that into English and that's what went viral. I, I had no idea Baby Shark was Korean. Didn't right? Cardi, Cardi B do something with Baby Baby Shark? Ba- Baby like, Shark has like a hundred like they have like ten million ten billion views yeah. or something like that. Like shit is out of this world. Damn, I gotta yeah, tap in. Gotta tap, tap tap into Baby Shark? The Baby Shark guy, have him write some shit. <laughs> yeah. But Squid Games, you understand why it's viral though. Like it's, it's so oh, the, simple. Yeah, the, the, the colors, concept, the yeah. storyline. And the the shapes 
it's all like just one dimensional. It's like very the, easy for the, all the. The amazing thing about that show too understand. is they in, that show single handedly introduced every classic Korean game. Oh yeah, like facts. They, they facts. introduced tradition yeah. to the mm. globally, facts, yeah. facts. which is pretty amazing to yeah. think about. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. All those things we you know yeah. we grew up on. Yeah. Sure. It's yeah. Crazy. Facts. Yeah. And well. then we're gonna keep it going with one soju. One oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, Bring it all one around. Soju. <laughs> and it comes back to one soju. <laughs> Circle. One. one. Podcast at the end. One soju. <laughs> it's it's a paid it's ad. It's just the right? Asian drink champs right here. <laughs> yeah, Asian drink champs. Asian though. drink champs. Um, I was talking about something funny because uh, I think it was, uh, we was with Jess or and John, right? They're like, because you know he said he... Uh, you you it's distilled in like one ju right yeah they're like oh is that why it's called one soju uh, <laughs> i was like what like yeah no i mean but but that is kind of crazy well it's not that's not why it's called one yeah, soju yeah. but that's why you know it's it's just destiny it's mm -hmm. god mm -hmm. it's god if you you know like there's there's ads for like the soju that's a big thing in korea where yeah. they put like a famous model or like no for singer. sure for sure who would you put as a spokesperson for one soju? So, Koala. So it would be. Koala, <laughs> yeah. Because we go up. <laughs> Yo, you fuck with this or what? <laughs> hey, one soju's good to go. It's good to go. go. <laughs> it's good good to go. go, yeah. That's kind of a good little slogan right there for that shit, yeah. No, I mean, so for, to, to me, like. To be your a, dream. I don't like, know. I, to be, the the dream, it. Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. Bro, if Rihanna was like, one soju, I'd be like, oh shit, <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you'd like, be lit, yeah, you'd bro, be lit. Because, uh, you know, like to have like a, a, a non-Korean person, true. like do it would that be crazy. That might be a good angle. That's, yeah. why, that's why I try to get two chains on the, the soju joint because that's yeah. like, oh shit, like one of the Atlanta OGs like kind of co-signing me and a right. drink from Korea. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but you know, I really, I really like the the way that um, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds like markets his aviation gin, like he because he does right. it very very like funny, yeah, like yeah, very yeah. witty, like how he does it in like you know Deadpool and shit, mm -hmm. <laughs> like he he like cross brands and promotes with um Hugh Jackman Hugh Jackman's coffee, yeah, and they just like diss each other and just fucking like you know right, but that shit is like like he Will Ferrell was supposed to come out in an interview to. To market his movie, in to Korea? promote his movie, no, in like Jimmy Fallon or something oh, okay, like that, okay, yeah. and like Ryan Reynolds came out instead and was just like, you know, talked about like, yeah, I came uh, for instead of Will Ferrell, yeah, yeah, like you know, here I am, his movie's great, and here's Aviation. You're like, I was like, oh, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, that's, that's so funny. Like, yeah, you would yeah, never yeah, yeah, expect yeah. that shit, right. and, and you just kind of like let it all like slide because it's Ryan Reynolds, you yeah. Know? yeah. So, True. So okay. I would probably go like that, right? If I was, if I was gonna really like try to like. And yeah, commercial. like shoot a commercial and have it be on TV and shit. But fortunately, we don't need that yet. Yeah. Yet. So, you know, when we do, we'll see. All right. Rihanna. Like going crazy. Rihanna, if you're interested, yeah, please call me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's listening right now. Yeah, facts. I mean, it's, yeah, people, I mean, when this, uh, it's, even right now too, like it's, everybody just asks. A lot of people it. hit you up too, right? No, it's like oh. a flex because uh, remember when you gave me that, uh, yeah, yeah, like he gave me that gift set, Fri like yeah. friends and family package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like that box, and then you know, in the back too, it's just got like one soldier la like labeled on there. Yeah. Now, honestly, I I kind of like walked the. I went to like uh, Rodeo. Rodeo. Yeah, it was like a like a like a like a designer like bag, bro. Like <laughs> I saw that on the It looked good. Yeah, yeah. Don't touch I'm sure it. Like mine that. got lost in the mail. <laughs> yeah. No, we can. <laughs> you, we can't send alcohol overseas. Oh, you can't. No, you can't. You have to have a. Di so you have to have a distribution license. Yeah. So if I went there and delivered it to you, I can do it. Right. We can't send it out. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's why, like, yeah. Well, um, I, I guess we could wrap it up. But uh, Kuali, are you doing Show Me the Money this year or what? Oh man, <sighs> man, I'm gonna uh, make a decision by like this end of the week. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't think I don't think Koala's style fits Show Me the Money. To be honest. Yeah, if, like that's if, what I think. If too, I was but, if I was Koala, I would. I would shoot. I would make my next single. And then use the verse to, you know, be like to do the prelims of "Show Me the Money" to promote his next single. That's what yeah. I would do, but not got, actually go on "Show Me the you Money." You already got the momentum right now. You just got to keep going. You know what I mean? You got you got the J verse. You got Jesse in the video, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I want a little all out with this one. Got uh, Jesse as a video girl, bro, in the video, yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah. That's, a that's, that's a flex. flex. That's, that's a flex right flex. there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, she. Yeah, it was a. Uh, 
I mean, of course she was down to do it, but uh, you know, her she was just like, Yeah, you're lucky, like this thing. Like, <laughs> no, 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 like she was down from the get, but it was just kinda like she was like, you know, I'm mad busy, yo. Like she was like she's like screenshotting her schedules, like that day's the only one that's unchecked. I'm like, oh hey, I was like, yo, thank you, fam. Like seriously, like you're the best. Like that's the funny thing about Jesse. It's like, yeah, we're grateful, but she's gonna remind you too. Like she came over there all like with her little Chanel outfit, like Looking all decked out, she was like, "Hey, you better be thankful." She's yeah. like, "This is how much I love you." Remember that. Okay, well, look out for that good to go koala. Uh, for, wait, why is your name koala? I mean, honestly, like I had that nickname since uh, middle school. I mean, there was no really like special reason I had that name. It's just I had like a homegirl. Like we went to school, uh, middle school together, and then she just was like, "You look like one." And <laughs> I was like, "No, we we used to just cross paths yeah. in the next class." And she was just like, hey, you know, you look like a koala. I was like, I was like, that's hey, a don't. perfect name. I was like, for you don't know, call really me that. Is. I was like, don't call me that. Like, you know, and you're mad. She yeah. told my youngs, like, you know, like, you know, when I used to go smoke cigarettes in the, at the, the, the park right there, she came, she was like, hey, he looks like a koala. They're like laughing. They're like, yeah, we're going to call you that from now on. Yeah. I was like, so like, <laughs> the name stuck. So I couldn't really, like, I, I had no yeah. choice. Was, either I was going to love it or I was going to be miserable. So I was just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just accept it. This you is my name. You can't choose your nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't go against the youngs. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just like, yo, just call me down. I'm going to embrace it. And that's who I am, like, you know? I was like, did you ever have a nickname, Jay? I did. It was Swagger Boy 2000. No, I just, I just really, that's your that's a screen name. name. Yeah. That's a screen but no, you name. never had a nickname? Nah, like, bro, no one like, gave you a nickname. Nah, I mean, and that's the thing is like, you know, every all when you when you're a b boy, everybody has a nickname like oh, like too fresh. Oh, right? What was your b boy name? I don't, I don't have a b boy name. Uh, you I, never know. I never had name. a b boy name. I never had a b boy name, and so it's one of those things where it's like, I was never meant to have a nickname. I tried. I tried to give myself a nickname and try to like, but it's just like you know, that's Jay. Oh know? no, no, no! I remember you used to write um, Shway Bum. Yeah, but even that, like, I gave it to myself as like a, a rapper, <laughs> yeah. aka alter ego. But it like, wasn't no, like a neighborhood. Alter, but yeah. no, but nobody called me, and only yeah, I knew. It was more like a so, nickname, but it was just kind of. Like I a, just wrote it on my profile to look cool, and then it wasn't cool, so I was like, oh fuck. Should we it. give him a nickname or what? Nah, it is too late. I'm th I'm 35, bro. Like, mm -hmm. hey, that's that's right. I'm a I just got a nickname, guys. I'm the tender age of 35. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. 47 is like why do they call you the soju guru <laughs> well i was on fun with dumb and uh dumb found and gave it to me when and, i was 35 and like, like you too like you changed your name to parker once and then because yes, you don't talk about dumb, that yeah i mean dumb found <laughs> it is such a it, it's right stuck forever mm -hmm. so, so i couldn't it escape back. it i yeah, tried yeah. to change like it and no one too. would let me do right. that right. i was like fuck yeah man it's just one of those you just one of those you just have to like live with it it chose you gotta make it chose you true True. Um, what? So you're just working on the album, yeah. PH. There's not. There's nothing else there. I mean, he's doing a lot of shows. Lou doing a, a lot, lot of festivals shows. for a lot of festivals. London shows. If you want. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's cut, cut, let's cut that out. You want, to, you want me to cut that out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's cut that out. Cool. Sorry, right. sorry. <laughs> Don't want to make it all complicated for you. Nah, nah, nah. No, but yeah. So he's he's booked for a lot of festivals. Working on his album. Um, yeah. Probably gonna do like some TV shit. I don't know. He's, he's doing a lot of he, bro, bro page one came up in the past few years bro I, full sure. has like almost a million followers now jesus christ wow. oh you do uh you do a lot of tv stuff like personality shit do people like your personality out here <laughs> that's, that's a weird thing what does that sure. mean do, well, do people I mean, like my personality <laughs> like on, on tv stuff like yeah. you know because they call stuff. people tv personality like, yeah. yeah oh um I don't. What? What have I done? TV? He's done. He's done some TV. He's some, done some TV appearances. Yeah, I. I feel there's people you don't even expect, like Slum. Yeah, mm. like he became a kind of a personality too. No, on for television, sure, because it showed right? me the money. Yeah, yeah. When I met Slum, he was so like I. I never would see that coming. You know no, what I mean? No, but his his TV personality is him just kind of being like. like oh, it's part like, of it. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Like just him being himself, but it's like it's funny because he's like super awkward. He yeah, laughs yeah. super. He's like, <laughs> like, and that's just his personality. I get you. Yeah, yeah. But then he's like a fucking musical genius. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, look out for that new album. Uh, when can we expect that? So very soon, very soon, very soon. Any collabs you have with people? Any people that you try to work with? Uh, I'm actually really trying hard to work with Koala, to be honest. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, bro, you're lit. Damn. Damn. You're fucking lit, bro. Koala's in high demand right now. What yeah, the no, hell? Yeah. You better forget about that show me the money audition, bro. That shit might be a step some back. <laughs> That's hey, a step bro. back. Hey, hey, people are gonna have to start auditioning for you, bro. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, Koala's gonna be out rap for me. Yeah. All right. Are you, you not, not good to do <laughs> Hey, 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 they need an extra judge or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's, you're not good to go. <laughs> nah. 
We got to get one in too. I kind of I want to do a drawing oh, yeah, with you. Please, please, please. Yeah, let's do one. My honor. Yeah. Okay. Well, Jay, soju, one soju, one soju, bro. Uh, it, it's it's hard to get, right? Uh, yeah. For, I mean, for now, it's hard to get, but it's it's coming to um GS twenty five. One soju spirit is coming to GS twenty five um in July, some sometime in July, and then hopefully we'll get you know it out overseas maybe end of this year early next year maybe we'll do we'll, a uh, giveaway we'll give away one of these uh on the show fun with yes. them giveaway Ooh. go ahead go ahead so wow. like and subscribe if you want to enter the one so two <laughs> that's contest. a good one right there. <laughs> uh shout out collab asia korea for letting us use the studio nice. ph1 j park koala that good to go single is out right now tune in next week for another episode of fun with dumb live from korea peace Yee.